I'm Amanda and we're here at La Jolla Cove in La Jolla, California for a taste at the Cove. We're here because one of the inductees is none other than Jeremy McGrath. It's a beautiful setting. We're right by the ocean. There's palm trees, seagulls, great food, and we're going to try to give you an overview of the night. A Taste of the Cove is a signature fundraiser for the San Diego Sports Medicine Foundation. It was started in 2002. Um, the foundation helps raise money for high school athletes mainly that don't have insurance or whose families don't have insurance that the foundation pays for all the hard costs of the surgeries, whereas the doctors in town have all donated their time. So the foundation covers all the costs so that the kids can get back to health and get back to sports. We've had some successes with many students and that have now gone on and played college ball and it's really exciting that the foundation has helped so many kids. And when did it start and um, who started it? The foundation started in 2002 by Dr. David Chow and I started with him in 2003 and I started with Taste at the Cove which is you know 40 restaurants, three fashion shows, we honor a local athletic celebrity as well as a local doctor and um, Jeremy McGrath is our celebrity honoree who, as most people know, is a seven-time Supercross champ and just a wonderful person and has done so much for San Diego and he's a local kid and we wanted to take care of him and thank him for all he's done for the community. This is our silent auction. Um, everything was donated 100%. We didn't purchase anything, so 100% of everything goes to the San Diego Sports Medicine Foundation. We have everything from concert tickets to autographed sports mail memorabilia to guitars to um, sports tickets, things like that. Okay, so Jeremy, how did you first hear about A Taste of the Cove? I, I first heard about The Taste of the Cove from a friend of mine who's been coming here for years. And he's always said, oh, man, it's such a great event. And, and of course, this year for me to be nominated and honored, it, it, it's really special. And I guess that's what it took to get me out here. But uh, so far, so good. And, I mean, it's something that I look forward to coming to now from now on. Can you explain to us what it is, who it benefits? Well, what it is, it's the uh, San Diego Sports Medicine Foundation. And it provides surgeries and gets kids fixed up that can't afford things like that, special treatment. And I think that's mostly what it benefits, uh, you know, underprivileged kids. And what does it mean to you? Well, for me, I mean, kids have been a big part of my life. I mean, I was in the motocross and supercross industry. Kids are part of our world. And, you know, I've seen a lot of injuries, a lot of things happen to to kids and and to have an op opportunity like this to get fixed up if you can't afford it then it's all the better i mean kids are the future and they're the future of our sports so i'm happy to be involved ladies and gentlemen our first fashion show is from elizabeth closet <laughs> My man Jared Adams from TNT to talk about the freestyle jumps coming up. Jared, talk to me, dog. Remember, this show is all about noise. The bigger they're going to throw it down. Tilt and Tommy actually do about 80 of these demos a year, traveling back and forth across the United States. Phil letting it all go with a nothing, completely letting go, floating above his bike right there. And Jolson stepping it up with a one-handed double can. I really love being a San Diegan for sure and, and uh, trying to get back to the community as much as possible. Um, everyone's been great and uh, of course Dr. Chow and the San Diego Sports Medicine Foundation is a great cause. and. Uh, Thank you very much. I, I can't say enough. Appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Jeremy McGrath.
Right now, we want to do the first of two live auctions. And if you notice, I don't have the script in my hand because I don't need no script to introduce these two gentlemen. If you know like I know, in a Mighty Double X, early in the morning, there's one show, a sports show, you got to listen to. It's Scott and BR on the Mighty Double X. And if you know that show like I know, you better tell somebody. Better tell somebody. CS Keys, everybody. What is going on? Everybody who's sitting here watching Billy Ray, they're watching the guys. You notice, though, that, that the death-defying leaps it just happened to be about 500 doctors out here in the audience. I mean, that's perfect planning, by yeah, the way. They, they keep enlisting everybody. Stand over here, just in case. Stand over. And back here, everybody's going, damn! Whoa! You were saying, I could do that. I no, could do that. No, no. No, that's that, me. That wasn't me. Yeah. That wasn't me. How about Jeremy McGrath, everybody, for another round of applause. Jeremy, come on back out here a second. Jeremy's not used to like not having his helmet, his gear, and his bike and everything. He's standing out here all by himself, butt naked in front of everybody. Butt naked. Well, you know, it feels that way. About butt naked. It just feels that way, right, Jeremy? Kind of just. Oh yeah, it definitely feels that way. The stage things are a little weird. I'm, I'm used to wearing my helmet all the time. So we were with Jeremy this morning. We, we had him on the radio show, and we said, "How do these guys practice to do this? How, what do they do?" Well, all these guys, I think what they practice on, uh, well, obviously they start smaller than that, but I think when they're trying tricks, like such as the flip and stuff, they, they do it in a foam pit. It's kind of, foam pit. It's a, yeah, it's a big box filled with foam, and it, they, they have a crane set up so they can do all kinds of tricks into the foam box, and they don't, I guess you can hurt yourself, but they don't hurt themselves that much. And then they, they, they yank the bike out and do it over and over. Sounds like something we should try, Billy Ray. A foam pit. Anybody? Anybody foam interest? Pit. Foam pit? Does anybody, anybody have one of these? I think, we have, I think we're auctioning yeah. off a foam pit tonight. Right. So, stay ready. <laughs> well, Jeremy, we're ready to raise a little bit of money tonight. What do you think? I think it's a great idea. Yeah, let's do it. Billy Ray, let's do it. The very first thing we're going to auction off, and by the way, we've done hundreds of these over the years, and they're all great. However, I will tell you, tonight's lineup, the auction items, the experiences that are offered to you guys tonight, unlike anything I've ever seen. And since Jeremy McGrath has a major role to play in the first one, I will let him tell you about the very first item up for auction, the Jeremy McGrath experience. Yeah, I think what, what we're gonna do the first time is here, we're gonna auction off a, a four-person uh, ride day with Jeremy McGrath. And uh, we'll get to come out. If, no, if nobody has bikes, we'll supply that. We'll supply the gear. We'll do what we can and then uh, for people that have ridden, uh, we're just going to go ride and have some fun. And the people that haven't, uh, maybe we'll be doing some instruction. But either way, we'll get to do a, a hangout session and uh, be really fun. And it's going to be at your like private moto track place, right? I mean, this nobody rides here unless you say they ride here. Yeah, yeah. I have a private place that we can go ride, and so nobody's going to be around, just us. We'll get to chill out and have some food, some drink, and do some laps. And uh, have a great time at it. Maybe a little coaching session then at the Grove Steakhouse at Viejas, right? Yeah, after that we're going to do a great steak dinner and uh, obviously that's going to be end of the day, but uh, hopefully we'll get to wear out some laps, wear some people out and get ready for a good meal. $2,000 right over there, Billy Ray.